During coitus, semen containing 200 million of spermatozoa are deposited in the anterior part of the vagina. As the vaginal pH is low, the spermatozoa cannot withstand the acidic environment. Since the semen mixes with the vaginal secretions, it neutralizes the acidic environment. The prostaglandins in the semen induce powerful uterine contractions. Release of oxytocin further accentuates contractions of uterus. The contractions of the uterus propel the spermatozoa due to a suction action. The spermatozoa now leave the seminal pool and swim up from the vagina by motile movements towards the cervical canal. The sperms now have to pass through the cervix. During ovulation, the mucus of the cervix becomes thin and watery. This enables the sperms to continue their journey. As this swim through the cervical canal, the cervical crypts in the mucosa increases and deepens, thereby trapping some of the sperms. From the cervical canal, the sperms travel in the uterus, which is aided by the contractions of the myometrium and the propulsive movements of the spermatozoa. As they cross the uterus, the leukocytes or neutrophils infiltrate and phagocytose the sperms. This significantly reduces the number of the spermatozoa entering the uterine tubes to a few hundreds. Finally, they enter the beginning of the uterine tube and pass through the isthmus, where some of them get entangled in the hair-like structures called cilia and serve as reservoir. As the spermatozoa pass through the uterine tube, there are chemical interactions between the plasma membrane of the acrosome and the mucosal surface of the uterine tube and the acrosome loses seminal plasma proteins and glycoprotein coat. This conditioning of the spermatozoa in the female genital tract is known as capacitation. This change causes hyperactivation of spermatozoa which enhances the ability of spermatozoa to swim towards the oocyte. Chemotactic attraction brings the few hundreds of the leftover sperms towards the oocyte. 